So here's my sauce and it is all done. I can see the little pieces of garlic in there, but it's ready to go. So now I'm going to take it over to my casserole and I'm gonna put the sauce over top of the chicken. So follow me. Okay, here's my chicken. Let's see if I can do this so you can see. So I'm gonna pour all my sauce over my chicken. There we go. Oh, it's hard to do backwards. Okay, and I'm going to mix it up. But I'm also gonna put my vegetables in now. So I've got my mixed vegetables. Put those in there, mix that up. And I want to put my potatoes, sprinkle in my potatoes. Now these are not cooked potatoes, they'll cook in here with the chicken and with the sauce as we put these in the oven, they'll cook. put them all in there okay so now we've got a big casserole and we're going to mix it we have to mix it so that we don't have like one part of the casserole that has just only potatoes we want this all evenly distributed when I cut into this when we eat it after it's cooked I want to be able to serve in each one of the servings I want to be able to serve vegetables potatoes and chicken that's the whole point right vegetables potatoes and chicken and you can see I don't know that looks pretty good to me okay so we're going to just make a nice nice on top and last little bit of sauce in here I want to get that in there okay Now, there is, this is the dough that I had, the dough, the piece of dough that I had, that I am going to put on top. So I'm just gonna undo it and I'm gonna try to stretch it over so that it covers all my vegetables. And you can kind of play with this, you kind of have to stretch it over like this. And we're gonna put it all the way to the end we want it to touch the end of the pan. So we're gonna stretch it like this so that it's there all the way to the end. And then, now, if I leave it like this, what's going to happen is I'm going to have a big bubble in the middle and I don't want that, okay? So I need to put little, little slits in the dough like this. I like to do it like this just so the dough will have some room to breathe and not make a big bubble there, okay? Now, this is going into a 375 degree oven and it's going to take about an hour. And when you cook it, if you see that maybe it's getting real, depending on the oven, if it gets really, if it starts to get very, brown on top what you can do is you can cover it with some aluminum foil until it finishes but it does need an hour although the chicken is cooked the vegetables are not cooked and all the sauce and everything needs to blend together okay so this is going into my oven at 375 for one hour and i will show you the final product so here's my chicken pot pie and you can see it's nice and brown. Now, I did look in on it about 45 minutes into the one hour cooking and I decided it was getting uh, brown and it needed to cook for 15 more minutes and I didn't want the top to burn. So I did put foil over top and it cooked like that for the last like uh, 12 to 15 minutes, okay? So it has taken a little bit of time to rest now, about 10 minutes and I'm going to cut into it and you can see, I'm going to plate it now, you can see that it cuts pretty easily. It's kind of messy, but 
this is what you do. You just pull it out. And so you can see that you get, you get the chicken and you get the vegetables and the potatoes and the cream sauce, right? And you could serve this with a salad. Now I did have a little bit of time while I was waiting for this and I decided I was going to make these little corn muffins. So I'm going to serve it with a little corn muffin and a little green salad and it's great comfort food. So I hope that you will try my chicken pot pie casserole. I hope that you will enjoy it. It's a typical sort of fall, winter casserole. It's got everything in it, the meat, the vegetables, the starch, and it's great comfort food. So I hope you enjoy it.